Hey guys, the objectives of today's video is to run through the most common clay minerals which are relevant to engineering. These minerals being kaolinite, montmorillonite, and eyelite. So kaolinite is formed by repeating layers of stacks of one silica sheet and one alumina sheet. This is known as a one-to-one -one clay mineral. Schematically, this is what kaolinite looks like. So we have an alumina sheet being bonded to a silica sheet. And this pattern essentially repeats. The kaolinite units are joined by hydrogen bonds. And since the hydrogen bond is very strong, it prevents hydration, and as a result, the layers can stack up to make a large crystal up to 70 to, eight, uh, 70 to 100 layers thick. The next mineral is montmorillonite, which is formed by one alumina sheet being sandwiched between two silica sheets. This is known as a 2 to 1 clay mineral, and this is what the mineral looks like in a diagram. So if I was to draw one layer here, we have silica, alumina, and another silica layer. And this pattern essentially repeats itself. The layers are bonded by van der Waals forces between the tops of the silica sheets. This is a weak bond and results in a net negative charge deficiency. And as a result, water and exchangeable ions, uh, ions can enter and separate the layers. This means that montmorillonite crystals can be very small, but at the same time strongly attracted to water. The final clay mineral which I'll talk about is illite. The structure of illite is actually quite similar to montmorillonite. However, the interlayers are bonded together with potassium ions. Schematically, this is what it looks like. So we have the same pattern going on here as with Montmorillonite. However, between our silica sheets, we have potassium ions which bond these layers together. So the potassium atom fills the hexagonal hole in the silica sheet. This potassium bond is stronger than van der Waals forces. Elite can be around 10 layers thick and is smaller than kaolinite crystals but larger than montmorillonite crystals. There's also some isomorphous substitution of aluminium for silicon in the silica sheet. And that's it for the most common clay minerals. Hope this video helps guys.